Good morning, guys. It's Miss Ashley with your calendar time today. I've not seen you since the end of last week, so we're going to play catch up. But I wanted you to see somebody and how much they've grown since last week. Come here, buddy. Okay. So look at how much he's grown. Let me get your brother, buddy. Okay, you want to get it? So look at how much our little ducks have grown. They look huge now. Keeps flipping around on me. <laughs> they're like toddlers. Yeah, they're they're very heavy too. Okay, I'm gonna put on some hand sanitizer, and then I'll go wash my hands in just a little bit. Okay. Sophie, can you take them in there? They're loud. Okay. Alrighty. So I hope you had a great Easter weekend. Um, I got to dye Easter eggs with my kids and we got to do some things around the house. So I hope that you got to do some things with your family. Um, if you want to tell me your favorite part of your Easter weekend, just go ahead and shout it out. Oh, I know that you guys had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. So the last time I saw you, it was Thursday the 9th. And so we are going to add to our calendar until we get to today. So we're going to kind of play catch up. And so when I saw you, we had um, a no school up here. Um, and of course, we don't have school on Saturday. We had the Easter icon right here. And then we had a no school for Monday. So let's keep adding numbers until we get to today. You want to do that? Okay. So do you know what comes after nine? Oh, I think some of you said it. If you don't know what comes after nine, one strategy that we can do is counting on. Now we could start back at one and count one, two, three, but we don't have to do that. We can start at another number besides one. So let's start, maybe let's start at five. And when I get to nine, I want you to say the next number, okay? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did you say it? Is it one of these? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 is the number 10. So when we were not together, it was April 10th. It's still April. I didn't even do that. It's still April. It was April 10th. So let's see what the next day, that Saturday was. Okay? 8, 9, 10. Let me get a couple choices. 8, 9, 10. 11. So let's put 11 up there on that Saturday. Okay. So I didn't see you Friday or Saturday. Also didn't see you Sunday. So let's see what comes there. 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to make it hard on you. They both have twos. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Which one is the number 12? Yeah, there you go. The number 12. Alrighty, and then I did not see you yesterday. I did talk to some families yesterday, but we didn't have any videos on Easter Monday. So let's see, let me give you a couple more choices and let's see what comes next. 9, 10, 11, 12. 9, 10, 11, 12. 13. Okay. So that kind of gets us all caught up, but we still don't know what today is. So before we even say what number day it is, what day of the week is it? So I did not see you Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. So now we're on the day after Monday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, what comes after Monday? 
Sunday, Monday. Did you say Tuesday? Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. And it's the day after the 13th. So let's see what comes. Today is Tuesday and the number after 13. So 12, 13, 12, 13, comes after 13. 17? 10, 11, 12, 13, 17? No, that doesn't go there. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14? It is. Today is April 14th, and it is a Tuesday. So in just a little bit, we are going to talk about the number 14. But before we do that, I want you to be our weather watcher and look outside and see what the weather is like. I'm going to let you go look for a second. Get back up there. We still got to do our weather. Okay. Watching you. Okay. So look outside and see what the weather is like at your house. And I'm going to tell you what it's like here. Okay. So is your weather sunny, rainy, or cloudy? What is your weather like? What is your weather like today? At my house today, it is sunny. You can't tell because you can't see outside, but it is sunny at my house today. And it wasn't so sunny the other day. How many of you guys heard really big storms the other night? So I guess it was Sunday night, two nights ago. Who of you guys heard those really, really big storms? I did, it kept me awake a little bit. My kids slept great, but I did not. Yeah, so my house is sunny, but go outside and see what it looks like at your house. The sunny does not want to stay up, so I'm just going to take it down, okay? And then you can see the reflection in my window. You know what a refle reflection is? Kind of like a mirror. You can see my lamp, my clock. There's a piano <laughs> and a picture. So you're seeing that reflection. Okay, so let's talk about what's our number today? 14. Today is 14. And so we are done with our little papers. If you want to go back and do the ones that we did not do last week, you can. Do like the number of the day, you can pick one to do, and that'll be just fine. But today we're going to talk about the number 14, and I'm going to stand up to do this, and hopefully you can see. Okay, so the number 14. So when you write a 14, it's a 1, which is just a number down. You guys are really good at that. And then a four, which is a line, line, line. Okay, and if you saw it just written out, it would look like this. F-O-U-R-T-E-E-N. That's that word, teen, 14. If you're a teenager, you're 13 or 14 or 15 or 16 or 17 or 18 or 19. Okay. So this is let's clap it. So once you get your clapping hands ready, we're going to clap to 14. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 12, 13, 14. Good job. What else can we do 14 times? You want to stomp our feet? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Good job. Alrighty. Do you think 14 is a little number or a kind of big number? 14 is kind of a big number. So we don't want to do something like 
spin around 14 times that might make us dizzy. What else can we do 14 times? We're not supposed to touch our face, but you guys like to touch your nose. Maybe we can just point to our nose. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What else can you do 14 times? Pick something and I'll count while you do it, okay? So if you want to give hugs, if you want to give somebody knuckles or high fives. Okay, I'm going to count and you do something 14 times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 12, 13, 14. Good job, guys. Alrighty, so this is let's count it. So we're going to look at, do you remember what this is called? I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. Oh, man, I'm going to make it crooked if I do that. Do you remember what those are called? It's called a tens frame. So if the whole thing is full, it has how many? Ten! You guys can't really see my face. That's probably a good thing, you think? Yeah. You'll be all right. Okay, so is 14 smaller than 10 or bigger than 10? It's bigger. So we're going to fill up a whole 10 frame, and then we're going to have some left over. So help me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you see how we have 10 up here? And then remember that's like a little adding sign or a plus. And then we have four more. So if we have 10 and then four, that's 14. Okay, let me ask you a question. If I was going to do this on my fingers, can you hold up all 14 of your fingers? Get them ready. You got all 14 up? I don't have enough. You don't have enough either, I don't think. So if you hold up both hands, how many is that? Ten. So if we put those ten in our pocket, how many more do we need? Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So if you're tracing your handprints, okay, I don't know if you can see if I do it on my glass. Nope, I can see it though. Okay, we can do it here. So if I trace my hand, I'm going to need two whole hands. And then another four. I hate you guys aren't with me because you got little hands and they fit so much better up here for us to trace them. Okay. So ten and then another four more. Okay. So, kiddos, we have talked about this. Your parents may not know. I think they're pretty smart, but you may need to tell them. So, if we're going to chart it, we charted it up here on the tens frame, but if we're going to put it on tens and ones, how many tens are in 14? I'll give you a hint. We have a group of 10, and we have a group of 10. So, two ways we show a group of 10. Either you can see the 10 on the tens frame, or you can see the 10 on our group of 10 fingers, and then there's plus some. So we have one group of 10, and then how many left over? How many more? We have the 10 plus how many? Yeah, four. Down here we had 10 plus how many? Four. So we have one 10 and four ones. Now, Let's tally our number. You guys are really, really good at tallies. Let's see if we can tally it. Ready? One, two, three, four. Remember, the five always goes across. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's our group of ten. Let's keep going. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
So if we expanded that, that would be 10 plus another 4. Okay, right now we're going to skip this. The number is even and odd. It's something we do sometimes, but I'm not worried about it right now. But let's do this. What is the number before 14? And I'll give you a clue. If you need to look at it, you can look over here to see the number that comes before it. So what's the number before 14 when we're counting? 10, 11, 12, 13. And what number comes after 14? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15. So tomorrow we're going to talk about the number 15. So let's do one more thing together. Oh, you can see that better than I thought. So our number 14, we need to go back. Do you remember your little calendar? And we need to fill in the days until we get to today, which is the 14th. So Friday the 10th. You guys trace it the best you can. I'm going to try to do one and a zero for the number 10. That was Friday. And I did not see you guys on the 11th, the one and the one. That was Saturday. Sunday was Easter. One, two, the number 12. Monday was one... Three. Those are the digits, the number 13. And then today was what number? The 14th. So we're going to write a 1 and a 4. Those are the two digits for the number 14. So your calendar that came in your packet should look like this today. So today is April. It's Tuesday. And it's the 14th. Okay, later, oh, let me do this. So guys, we are finished with our calendar time today. And I'm going to show you an exercise that you can do to get up and move. What you can do at home today, you can practice counting to the number 14. You can find 14 things and practice counting those with one-to-one -one correspondence like you've been talking about in math. And then also look outside and see what your weather is like. I'm going to share a exercise video as everything's falling. And um, I will see you guys in just a little bit for our news time. I uh, will see you later. Bye.